apartment on the 12th floor in the northeast corner called the Harbor House, which has a spectacular view of Yellow. I put a young lady there. I paid her to live there, paid for the apartment. And whenever we did a trip, she had an unbelievable set of binoculars. Of course, she has a radio. And we found every radio frequency we could have against what we're calling competition. And the U.S. Customs, the local Marine Patrol, we would know if they were there. And listen. So came home one time. I'm in a boat. Sometimes I was the guys working the front door or in the apartment. This particular time, I'm in a boat. I'm talking to my friends in the apartment. Lo and behold, here comes this U.S. Customs and the U.S. Coast Guard. The guy's got an M16 rifle. We didn't think they were after us, but they were checking boats. Now, I'm in a boat that's loaded. But when he pulls up alongside of me, the motor on his boat's going bang, 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 bang. Jeez, that sounds terrible. He said, oh, it's been doing that since yesterday. Oh, oh God. And he turns around, and, and he don't get 100 feet from me, and he goes, cut. Bang! I thought he shot the rifle or something. And it was, he caught the wave just perfect. The piston comes out through the side of the motor and skips on the wave. It looked like some kid throwing a rock. And a big flame shoot out the side, just lights everything up. I go, damn. <laughs> and they're on the radio. And they can't get me. This is why this is superior equipment. I'm worried about these guys. I said, you guys need to tow. And I threw them a line, and they got on my boat, and I towed the U.S. Coast Guard and the U.S. Customs. But we're in a boat that had 354 kilos in it. The young lady who was up in the apartment said, only I would. Anybody else would panic and probably jumped overboard.